It's uncomfy. Mm -hmm. Why is our sugar container in the dirt? For decoration. Okay. Nobody. I'm just starting over because I don't remember anything I just said. <laughs> I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking about, but it wasn't what I was saying. Hey guys, it's Ari. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. If anybody's still watching after I just didn't upload for like a month, sorry. Anyway, today, first of all, that's Mikkel. Hi, Hi Mikkel. Hello. She doesn't want to um, do this because it's hot outside, but guess what? Ah! <laughs> We're still doing it. Mm -hmm. So, today, first of all, if you guys have watched me for a while, you know that my hair changes color quite often. And right now it's this gross, really faded, uh, I hate it. I don't know. It's just gross. It's a bad color. I really like to dye my hair, which means that I'm dyeing my hair soon, which means I need hair dye, which means that I should go get hair dye today. We should do that. Make sure that happens. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. But I've used color remover and I've used all the, the, the things except for bleach because I don't want to bleach my hair because I bleach my hair all the time. I just don't want to bleach my hair again. So, you know what I'm going to try today? I remember... When I was in middle school, question mark, maybe, or elementary school, I'm not that young. It was probably middle school. I don't know. A while ago, there was a trend of people that would do, like, Kool-Aid in their hair, right? That was really cool. And then people started using Coca-Cola in their hair. And I've seen, like, multiple five-minute craft videos where they put Coca-Cola in their hair. And it has all these, like, benefits or whatever. Wait, 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 sorry. But five-minute crafts? We have to sit here for an hour. What five minute craft actually takes five <laughs> minutes? None of I know. them. I'm just saying that. It... Okay, sorry. <laughs> so there's a YouTuber that I like, and his name is Robbie. I will probably forget to link his channel in the description, but it's it's just Robbie. So either look in the description or type in Robbie. But he does like all of his videos in the past like six months to a year slash I don't even know and that was completely random guess. They've all been like testing five minute craft videos and they're really funny and some of the five minute crafts actually work and most of them are really stupid and it's hilarious to watch him do them. So he's really funny. He has pretty light blonde hair. I don't know if he bleaches it or not but it's really light blonde. It's I, I think it's pink right now but one of his trademark hair things is that he's had this like really light hair and he decided to test this out and put Coca-Cola in his hair. So basically what you're supposed to do is to lighten your hair, which is what I want to do before I dye it again, is you soak your hair in Coke and then you sit in the sun for an hour. So that's what he did. And his hair went from blonde to like white. And Robbie is not the kind of guy that like lies or like he would like bleach his hair to like be like, oh, it works. Because kind of the whole point of his channel is showing that they don't work. So it actually did work on him, and I decided, you know what, we're gonna do it. Um, I'm poor, so why buy Coca-Cola when you could buy Shasta Cola? Wow. So that's what we're doing. Um, I was unsure if the Shasta Cola was going to work the same way, because, you know, like, it's not Coca-Cola. So, you know what I did, is I looked at the ingredients, and they're exactly the same, except for this has sucralose in it. I believe that was the only difference, was then... At the end of the ingredients, they added sucralose and Coca-Cola didn't. So, I highly doubt that sucralose is going to, like, deactivate the bleaching power of this cola. So, we're going to use off-brand cola and we're going to dump it on my head. And I'm going to sit in the sun for an hour. And then we're going to see if my hair is lighter. So, just before I dump uh, soda on my head, this is, this, is, this is what my hair looks like. This is the color of my hair. You see it? I see it. Can you put that in your memory? Yeah. And just remember it? It's like literally gray. Oops. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what was that sound? I don't know. So anyways, everybody ready? Ready? I'm going to just, I'm just going to. Do you see this? This is what you need to remember. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> this is a serious video. We're doing a scientific experiment. Remember this color, everybody. Because you gotta, you have to tell me at the end if it changed or not. Have you remembered the color? Yes, I remember the color. We're gonna dump soda on my head now. Don't make me. Yeah. 
Yeah. Thought this might be a good addition. It will be. You told me to do this. Well, there wasn't much of a choice. Did I tell you to pour coke down my back, Mikkel? <laughs> yes! How did you expect that not to happen? You're filming me? Yeah. Thought this might be a good addition. It will be. Got him. <laughs> For some reason it's super blurry. But, okay. <laughs> it is not focusing on you. I'm back. It's a completely different day because, listen up you guys, my freaking camera just broke the day that I filmed this. Just so you know, if you were wondering. So, it's, it's great. And then, guess what happened? My phone broke too. So, I got a new phone and um, I'm currently using it as a camera. Which is actually really nice because it's like I can, I can see myself now. It's, I have a viewfinder. Anyways, um, Mikkel obviously isn't here. She's at her house because it's the middle of the week and like She lives like an hour away, but the hair that's why you're here. I keep looking in the viewfinder I need to stop ah, so listen first of all, um, I have sun damage on my face now from sitting in the sun While I would like had the hour right with the with the coke in my hair. So I sat in the sun for an hour yeah, I didn't put on sunscreen and I knew I was gonna get burned, but I was like, I don't care, and I didn't get burned, but my face is now sun damaged, and you can see it because I'm wearing makeup, but like, it's there. You can still kind of see it. Uh. First of all, when I washed my hair out, the water was brown. Angry doggo. And the dogs are communicating. I heard a cat. Is the cat okay? These dogs are barking a lot and I heard a cat and I'm really concerned now. I'm gonna keep filming, just pretend like they're not there, okay? The water was brown, okay? The water's brown. So obviously it's because of the coke. It was just weird because I was like, I was hoping maybe that was like some of the color maybe coming out, you know? Cause like it lightens your hair. It did not light my hair and uh, I feel like it actually, well, okay, look, this front part, I think is definitely lighter, right? Right? It's pretty light, okay? This part, this pink part, I can't tell if it got lighter or if it got darker. I don't know. And then this part right here, you can see that parts of it got lighter and then parts of it stayed the same. So, I don't know if that was because of the way I was sitting, like, with the sun, or just because of... I don't know. And then over here's the weird part is it actually brightened this section of my hair. Again, I don't know like what, like I don't understand what happened. Um, I did have, I don't know if any of y'all saw this, if I ever filmed, wait, I had this hair for like three months. Of course I filmed with this hair. When my hair was blue, you couldn't see it very well from like a filming angle, but I had every color of the rainbow going around the back. So I'm pretty sure that was probably where one of the blue sections was, which is why it was a brighter blue. Um, cause it's a different brand of blue than the rest of my hair. I think it was just already more blue and then the sun somehow mixed with the coke and it made it brighter. Another thing is my roots. So first of all, they're gross, like they're growing out. I hate when my roots grow out, which is one of the reasons I look crazy. Which is one of the reasons that I'm dyeing my hair black. My roots grow out, which I'm really glad actually that my hair is growing pretty fast because my hair, I'm, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. Ready, 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 picture. So, my hair has been short, and it's growing out. It's growing out from being short. It was, like, buzzed on the sides and everything. My voice just died. And so, it's- I'm glad that it's growing, because as much as I liked having it short, and I'm, like, really glad that I had it short, it was a very good experience. There is a wasp. Please go away. I just- that was a good time of my life when I was very confused, and I chopped all of my hair off, because that's what you do when you're confused, obviously. And now I want long hair and I can't wait till I have super long hair like I used to. You know, we're gonna have a picture of that too. Ready? Picture! Like I used to have. I had long hair. It was super pretty. It was awesome. I also was a little baby fetus and I had- I was very naive. We're not going into my life. I don't have the time to fix this because look at what it is. I would have to do so much fixing to try to get this to be a thing. 
So anyways, I forgot why I was telling you that, but I'm dyeing my hair black. Oh yeah, my roots. <laughs> like I said, I'm glad they're growing out fairly quickly because I want my hair to grow quickly. Should I just part my hair on that side? That's a look. I've actually been thinking if I should like switch my part, right? Should I do it? Obviously the roots of my hair didn't lighten. They're still really, really, really dark. I don't even, honestly, oh, this that's a look. Okay, so my hair under all the dye and bleach and everything was slash is brown like you saw in the one picture where i had like brown and red hair right okay but at this point i actually don't know what color my hair is because like people in my family their hair color changes sometimes when they get older and i haven't had my natural hair color since i like was a child and i like before i hit puberty i still haven't hit puberty <laughs> let's be honest but like i don't know i just feel like it's been a couple years since i've actually seen my hair color so i feel like i might actually have super dark hair you can see this huge spot that's really gross. That's pretty dark. And it looks almost like it's black. Which would make sense, because my dad has black hair. Because I'm Italian. So it didn't lighten my roots at all. Like, at all. It's They're black. But next to my roots, which is basically... Okay, look. Like, all this hair has been bleached and dyed, bleached and dyed. Obviously, the further down it is, the more it's been bleached and dyed. Because, like, it's been on my head the longest. And then as you go up, my roots grew out a little bit and they looked really gross, so I touched them up, which basically means I went around my head with bleach, and you can see, like, not there, but at some point, at somewhere, okay, look, right here, you can see that I had, like, dyed hair, and then here, my roots grew out and I bleached it and then dyed over it, and you can see that's a color difference because of just, like, how long the dye had been in my hair compared to the new bleached and dyed hair. And the part of my hair that was more recently bleached and dyed, I don't know why, but it turned it all yellow. I mean, it turned it yellow because, like, it was blondish, and then it was, like, greenish, and so now it's, like, yellowish. But I just thought that was interesting because the parts of my hair that had most recently been dyed slash bleached were the parts that reacted the most and actually lightened. The thing about that is that then my hair is like black and then really light and then it's like multiple shades of blue and I'm it's a lot it's a lot the thing that, that I did not expect from this that I'm actually okay with listen listen this I'm on drugs right now or something I have energy but I like don't have energy I am gonna stop I'm sorry I don't this this probably wasn't because I put coke on my head and then sat in the sun like I'm gonna be honest but I feel like it is. So again, like I said, I've been growing my hair out and I'm really excited for it to start getting longer. What's on my, what? Am I okay? Which means I'm constantly like, hey, how long is my hair? How long is my hair? Oh, oh, how long, can I put it in a ponytail? How long is it? Is it like that long? Is it to my shoulders yet? And listen, listen to me right now. Okay, listen. Before I put the coke on my head, my hair was like, like that. Then I put the coke on my head, and I washed out, and my hair was like that. Not even kidding. Like, again, I'm probably just stupid, and I hadn't realized it, that my hair had been growing. But I feel like when I washed the coke out, my hair grew. And I was like, that's weird. Maybe it's just because, like, I washed it and brushed it, so it's, like, more straight, so it looks longer. But then I put it in a ponytail, and the ponytail was, like, longer. And ever since then, my hair's been longer. So, basically, the moral of the story is that... It, if you put coke on your head and then you sit in the sun, some of your hair will get lighter, some of your hair will get brighter, some of it, it won't affect it at all, and it will get longer. Anyways, though, sorry for all of that. I shouldn't be apologizing. I am not sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that was a weird video. I'm just... It's fine. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video, because then YouTube knows that you like the video, and then it'll be like, hey, this person might like the video, and it will, like, recommend it, and then that person will see it, and then they'll be like, oh my gosh, I liked that video, and then they'll like the video, and then lots of people will like it and see it, and then I'll get subscribers and i'll get a bunch of people to join the cringe crew if you're subscribed by the way you're now called the cringe crew and i have t-shirts that say that if you want one just like for fun people always go off like why do you have merch like you're not like you're tiny like you don't even have subscribers and i'm like because it's fun like why <laughs> because a shirt that says cringe crew is awesome that's why i have merch duh but anyways, if you guys do want to subscribe and become a part of the cringe crew, I'm sorry, if you don't want to be cringy, don't like not subscribe because you don't like the word cringe. You can call yourself just like the crew if you want, like, you're just like the crew. I don't know. But for real, thank you so much for watching, make sure to like the video if you liked the video. If you unliked the video, I don't know why you watched it until this point. Go watch a YouTuber that you like. 
And also leave a comment down below. Wait, what's the comment challenge of the day? By the way, from now on, we're doing a, I believe other people call it the comment question of the day. I'm just gonna call it the comment challenge of the day. Basically, I'm gonna tell y'all what to comment. And if you comment it, I'm gonna choose my favorite answer there. The wasp is back, the wasp go away. I'm going to choose my favorite answer and you will be featured in the next video. By the way, if you have a YouTube channel, like some of y'all are just watching YouTube, right? Some of you are like also YouTubers. If you have a YouTube channel you want me to shout out, make sure at the end of your comment challenge comment answer thing, you put the name of your YouTube channel so that if you win, I will shout out your YouTube channel as well as your comment. Okay, comment challenge is if you have ever dyed your hair before, say that you have dyed your hair before, so I know. If you've ever dyed your hair before, what is the first color you ever dyed your hair? Mine was the picture that I showed you. That was the first time I ever dyed my hair. My mother was angry about it. If you have not dyed your hair, comment your natural hair color, and if you could dye your hair, what color you would dye it. And if you don't want to dye your hair, tell me why you don't want to dye your hair, because like, I get, like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I was gonna say I get when people just want their natural hair color. I don't like have anything against that. I'm not like, ew, your natural hair color gross, but like, I just don't want my natural hair color. I don't want to have brown hair. Like, why would I have brown hair when I could have rainbow hair or like, hot pink hair like I had or like black hair but with like stuff in it so yes that is the comment challenge of the day is that what I called it I'm so tired make sure to comment that and then you'll like get a shout out and it will be like super cool and then it'll be cool like I just said I'm tired okay for real thank you so much for watching if you want to see what color my hair is next make sure the bell is on it turned off for a bunch of people so make sure the bell is on so that you'll be like ding and then like you'll be like omg a video and then you'll like click on it and then like you'll see what color my hair is i'm sorry that i'm so high energy right now and just like totally dead but i'm going to actually end the video right now i don't have an outro because my old outro was stupid and i didn't like it so i love you guys i love um my cat thank you for watching save the planet and the bees um follow me on instagram cringe crew is cool goodbye i wanna go somewhere i love